Let's view our amazing new Control Up Edge DX metrics and reports. Immediately, we are greeted with an overview of the physical endpoints in our organization. We can see we currently have 61 managed devices. 29 of these devices run Windows, 20 run Mac OS, and we've got 12 running Linux. We can also see a metric for the number of alerts generated in the last hour and even Wi-Fi samples taken from the last hour too. If I highlight over this, we could see 272 returned a strong signal and 65 a good signal. Devices Online shows us this great line chart which illustrates devices online in our organization over a set time period. And you could expect that outside of business hours, there might be a dip. You could change the date range and do it over the space of a week and see you know, what the trend is in your organization. Average logon time on these devices is displayed also. And beside this, we see our average user input delay, which can indicate application delays, delays when typing or moving the mouse, leading to general user frustration. Rather cool at the bottom is a map displaying the actual geographical locations of these devices. Before navigating away from the main dashboard, I would be remiss if I didn't show you the configuration options available. You can configure alerts for your physical endpoints. For example, perhaps you would like to alert on devices that max out on CPU utilization. You can also configure agent settings if you would like to change interval settings, Windows event log settings, and more. You can also view the system events that have occurred in your organization, and something I love in particular is the scripts option. We enable you to create custom scripts for your Windows, Mac OS, and Linux devices to gather some other custom data you might like and also to carry out actions or changes that you might like. For example, I have a script here to update an agent on my Linux ThinClient devices executed from ControlUp Edge DX. If I quickly go back and click on Add Script, I can show you that you have numerous scripting language options available to you, like PowerShell, VBScript, Command Scripts, and more in Windows, Bash, Shell, Swift, and more for Mac OS, plus PowerShell, Python, Bash, Shell, and more for Linux. All of this can be awesome for helping to maintain and manage those devices. And also, like I said, give you the ability to report on your own custom data for your devices. But let's go back to our main dashboard to drill into some of the metrics to see what data is already available out of the box with Edge DX. As you can see, these great metrics are interactive and can be clicked on to drill in further, just like all of the other metrics you can see and solve. For example, Let's take a closer look at our macOS devices. We could see which macOS devices are currently online and which ones are offline. We could see Wi-Fi signal for those currently running over Wi-Fi. We see the last user on the devices, network latency, CPU usage, and more. If we only care about the online devices, we can simply select to hide all offline devices. We can also select to view agent information to get even more metrics like the agent version the devices are running and the remote IP address. And just like our awesome discovery dashboard, here we can create filters to search for whatever we care about the most. One of my personal favorite features are the included pre-canned reports available. We can get extremely granular and look at installed applications on the devices, the network interfaces used on the devices, hardware details, and even host file entries, plus much more. This can also be a dream for InfoSec teams, as you can drill in to get data on the top user process elevations, missing patches, local administrator account usage, and general metrics on how users work on those devices. Let's look at just one of these reports for now. Missing patches is my favorite. I love that we can now get this type of critical information to keep our organization and people safe, all available within a single solve website. And if you would like, you can also export this data or even just create your own custom reports within Edge DX.